Welcome back to our channel. My name is Eunice Mathis. I'm a registered nurse and the owner of Florida Training Academy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to put a resident on a bedpan. And for one of our demonstrations, Patrick is going to be able to assist by raising his hip. In the second demonstration, he's going to act as if he's unable to move. And then I'll show you how to put the bedpan under someone who needs more assistance. For your Florida CNA examination, um, it doesn't matter which technique you use. I usually advise our CNA students to use the easier technique because our pretend patients, when they're taking their CNA examination, should have the ability to raise and lower their hips. If I don't say it in each video, don't forget, I've already washed my hands, I've closed my curtain, and I've already gloved up. If I do not change my gloves, for every step, do realize that this is a training video. If you want to support us by sending us super thanks, that will allow us to provide um, more gloves and buy more gloves so that we can actually change gloves more frequently during our skills. We know that in the real world, you change your gloves and you would not be recontaminating other items. This will suffice for the Florida CNA exam. All right, no more disclaimers. Let's go ahead and get started. Patrick sitting up. I cannot put anything beneath someone if they're sitting on their bottom, so I'm going to lay him down. You doing okay today, Patrick? I'm going to remove this call bell. I'm going to raise up the corner of your sheets here. For the state of Florida examination, there will not be a pad beneath the resident. So you're going to prepare your pad. Remember that the plastic side will go towards the bed, just like a diaper if you're thinking about a baby. And the cotton side will go towards the skin. I'm going to roll this in halfway. Remember for our first skill, Patrick's going to be able to assist. All right, so Patrick, on the count of three, can I get you to bend your knees, number one, bend your knees. And then on the count of three, if you can raise your hips up as far as you can. All right, one, two, three, let's go. Very good, and you can lower it. So now that the pad is placed, and remember I did not overexpose my resident, I can now go to the cabinet and retrieve the bedpan. When you retrieve the bedpan, you also want to bring the toilet paper. For this skill, the patient would be able to wipe him or herself. Remember, in the real world, this would be something that the CNA would be doing if the patient was unable to assist. Don't overthink this. It's just for the test. All right, here's the toilet paper for you to use after you do the urinating. Whenever you're placing the bedpan, you want to place it based upon, based upon the form and the shape of the bedpan. For a male, they sometimes have smaller bed pans and then they also have urinals. But for the CNA examination, I want you to pretend that all of your residents are females. <laughs> and because it wouldn't make sense to put this under Patrick if he was just simply urinating. We give him a urinal instead. But for your test, pretend that all of your partners are female and that you're putting a bed pan beneath them to collect their urine. All right, and so now from the side, on the count of three, when I ask you to raise, please do so. One, two, three, raise your hips. Very good, sir. All right, you can lower your knees now. In the real world, you'd actually look between your resident's legs, make sure that you can actually see the bed pan, because if not, you can actually get more urine on your bed and complicate your skills. You'd actually have to then give the person a bath and change the bed length. Now that I've given Patrick the toilet paper and the call bell, I want to raise the head of the bed so that he can really clear out his bowels or his bladder. For the state of Florida examination, you're putting somebody on the bedpan who's pretending to urinate. So this is not a skill in which you have to wipe them. It's just practice. All right, and you're not gonna take off your gloves for the Florida CNA examination. You're gonna go behind the curtain for about five seconds. And whenever you're done, you'll come back and ask your resident if they have finished using the restroom. All right, Patrick, are you finished? All right, thank you so much. I'm gonna take the call bell. If I can get you to keep holding on to the toilet paper until I have a place to store it. You're now gonna lower the head of the bed Patrick, 
Patrick, on the count of three, can I get you to raise up for me? One, two, three. Thank you so much. You can lower your knees. All right, so for the state of Florida examination, you, of course, put your disposable pad inside of the trash. For the state of Florida examination, you go into the bathroom. You did empty your imaginary contents into the commode. In order to rinse the bedpan, you cannot touch the faucet with your gloved hands. So you're going to use a napkin to turn on the water, get your rinse water into your bedpan, and then pour the rinse water into the toilet. Turn off the water using a napkin. Now you're left with a wet bedpan. You'd have to then get a napkin to dry it out. And then whenever you're storing your bedpan, you cannot contaminate the cabinets. You will take a napkin to open the cabinet, store the bedpan. May I have the toilet paper? Store the toilet paper. Your gloved hand cannot touch the cabinet. You would use that same napkin to close the cabinet. You can now take off your gloves and wash your hands. However, there is one more step left to the skill. You have to ask the resident whether or not he wants to wash his or her hands. And I'm not an advocate of toting a used um, towelette with my bare hands. So in the real world, you can take off your gloves, wash your hands, put on new gloves. But for the state of Florida examination, you can go through the whole skill with one pair of gloves on. Remember, you're only simulating putting someone on top of a bedpan. They don't want you wasting supplies. All right, Patrick, half of the washcloth is wet, half of it is dry. Would you go ahead and cleanse your hands and then dry your hands with the other half? Thank you so much. Put the used washcloth inside of the laundry basket. Take off your gloves. Fix the bedding. Give your resident the call bell to hold. Would you like your head of the bed raised, Danny? Reposition your patient for comfort. Lower the frame of the bed, wash your hands, and don't forget to open those privacy curtains. All right, everybody, this is Eunice Mathis with Florida Training Academy. Stay um, for a few more moments so we can show you how to put somebody on the bedpan who's unable to assist with the skill.